All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate All right, so here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face. He wants to take it on, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage. He's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov. He is ready to go. That means so are we for our main event of the evening. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the right. octagon tonight. Yeah. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. And that one certainly found the target. I mean, is this thing on the feet? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing night. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. It's a pretty fast jab. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just went and started fighting. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Magomedov goes for the takedown, he misses. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters 
in the UFC. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Beautiful jab lands. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick, and just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt, because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. Slips the punch. And again, they clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there. He has executed that weapon perfectly all night long. He's landed several of them in this round, really starting to do some damage with those knees. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but then... Oh, he slams him down with authority. Uppercut lands. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice check on the leg kick offering there. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And that left hook landed on the button. Another left hook. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Big punch land. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Leg kick checked by Nurmagomedov. Under a minute now to go on the run. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Nice transition. Mago Medov's back inside control here. And the fighters are inverted now on the ground. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, it's getting tight. Getting tighter. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. Right, two straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round here. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And of course, the big storyline in the previous round, those knees just up and down, really inflicted a lot of damage on his body. Really driving the knee into the midsection, toe pointed down towards the mat, really throwing his entire body into every knee that he landed. And it shows, because look at his opponent. Look at his opponent's posture as we get ready for round two. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Low 
kick is there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big punch lands through the middle. That punch, no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Great job getting the position to land on the table. Lands an elbow there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, big head kick there! All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Great block. Big shot lands for both guys. Under two minutes to go. Marco Medov gets hit by that leg kick. Circling to his right. Nice try. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together on the button. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he popped the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got Habib's looking for a Darce choke here. That Darce choke is tight. It looks like the dark choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his head. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so he's got that arm triangle watch him pass to the opposite side it looks real tight he'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique oh and there's the horn at the end of the round how about this fight folks you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round saved by the bell so back to the stool mentally probably not in a great place here we'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight all right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. Ready to fight. It's bleeding pretty Ready. good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the brow, 
He can get through this. He's just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his own blood, so oh, that helps things a little bit. He's going to get a lot of tea. He's going to get a lot of it now, then. All right, next round is underway. We will continue to monitor that storyline moving forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Slip and counter by Nurmagomedov. Right now by the champ. Nice counter shot there. Unable to connect with the right hand. Just touching him with the jab. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Well, there it is again. He seems to be fighting through the damage pretty well, but even if you're blind, you can see all the redness now. Well, you can see it starting to accumulate. You can see it starting to take an effect on it. For as tough as he is, for as good of a poker face as he has, you can still see it. And right now, he's got to address it because we're about to get to a point where he can't even do anything to stay in this fight. Right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, nice overhand right. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now, DC. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Holding the position, still working for a submission. and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. 